Hi, I am Roxana from VP State, and in this video I will show how to import the Rent Yacht demo in VP Rentals team. In this domain I have installed the team and the team included plugins. Next I will need to activate the team. I will need to add here my license code. I will press check license. My theme is now active. The team supports SVG icons for features and amenities and for the demo SVG icons to be imported along with the demo import, you will need to install the SVG support plugin. I will show, I will go to plugins, look for the SVG support plugin. This is the plugin that you will need to use. I will click install now. I will activate the plugin and set it to apply only in admin. I will tick this option and save changes. Next I will import the demo content, so I will go to VP Rentals options, import demo. Here you will find all team included demos. This is the demo that I want to import. I will click import demo, continue and import. The import process might take a few minutes. The demo was successfully imported. I will now click visit site. And next I will show the steps that you need to take after the demo import. I will start with team options. I will open VP Rentals options. Here you will be able to replace demo settings with your own. You will be able to change country. You will be able to upload your own logos, make settings for the booking, you will be able to select the booking type, weekend dates and other booking related settings. In map section, you will need to decide on the map system that you want to use. You can keep open street or select Google Maps. If Google Maps will be selected, then a Google Maps API key will need to be created and added in the team. In design section, you will be able to manage general settings. You will be able to manage settings for the listing page. Here you will be able to set the listing design type. Here you will be able to enable the listing page layout manager for your listings and make other settings. In payments and submit section, you will be able to make submission page settings. You will be able to set payments. You can select WooCommerce or set PayPal or Stripe from the team. Also, you will have the option to make settings for the booking payment options. From the search section, you will be able to manage the team advanced search settings. You will be able to set the type of the search and make other settings. Next, you will need to set permalinks correctly. You will need to go to settings, permalinks. The permalinks need to be set to be post name. Save the change. Next, I will go back to front end and I will show what you need to do to complete the home page and how to edit each element on the home page. On the home page, you will see all the demo elements, but for some sections, like this one, you will need to make manual adjustments. In this section, we use listing categories and since on import, the categories will have different IDs, the images for each category used here will need to manually be uploaded. Since the home page was created with Elementor, I will first edit the page with Elementor to show how this section was built. I will scroll down to that section. This is the one. Here we used the VP Rentals featured category. For each block, for each column used, you will need to manually add the category that you want to display on front end. I will select random categories just to show how they will work. I will save the changes made and now I will go back to admin and add an image for each category used in the widget. You will find all listing categories under listings. They are categories what do you rent, city, neighborhood, area, features and amenities and property status. I will open first categories. In home page I used condos as a category. To upload an image for this category I will need to edit the category. Press the upload image button. Select an image from media or from my device. I will select one from my device. 
press insert into post and update. If I go now on home page and refresh the page and refresh the page, you will see that the image will show here. I will add the rest of the images of the record as the steps will be the same regardless of the category used in this widget. I added the remaining images as well. The section now looks as the official demo one. And next I will go back to the home page Elementor editor and show how to edit the details on the home page. I have navigator enabled so I can have better access for each page section. I will start with the header section. Here we use a video as a header which was added as the background for for this section you will be able to change it by going to style section here you will be able to change the video link and change other options next in this section we have added the text with the heading widget you will be able to edit the text and the search was added with the search form builder widget. In this case, the settings that you make in team options in search section will not apply and you will need to manage search fields and other settings from the form builder. You will be able to change fields and change the style of the search form. Going further, in the next section, we have created a section to display listings. Here we added an icon with the element or icon widget, you will be able to upload a different SVG icon or select one from Fontasm. Next, we added text with heading widget. You will be able to edit it. And for the listings, we have used the VP Rentals recent items widget. This widget will display the latest listings added in your site. You will be able to change the number of items, make other settings and apply filters. Going to the next section on the page, we have created a section with icons and text. Here we use the icon box element or widget. You will also be able to change the icons by uploading new SVG icons or selecting font awesome ones and the text will need to be edited here. You will need to do this for each element. This section has a background color added. To change it, you will need to click on the section and going to style, you will be able to change the background color. Going to the next section, you will have the VP Rentals featured category widget that I already described. Next, you will have this section with an image and text. For this section, we added a background image. You will be able to change it from style. This is the color that you will need to change. And for the graphics that you can see, we have added a background overlay, which is this image. You will be able to remove the image or change it with your own. For the image and the text, we have added an inner section with two columns. Here you will find the about text that comes under the initial one. To change position, you will need to change the negative margin button value, this one. And also in style, you will be able to change design settings. Going further, you will be able to edit the following heading widgets to edit the rest of the text. And also you will be able to edit the button settings. The image can be changed from the first column style settings. You will be able to delete this image image and replace it with your own. Also this column has a negative value for the margin bottom. If you want to change the image position, you will need to change this value. Going further to the next section, you will have the VP Rentals featured owner widget. Here you will be able to change the demo owners with your own by adding the new IDs. I will show where you can take the IDs from. You will need to go to admin and in owner section, you will need to copy the ID of the owner that you want to display on front end. Next, we have the review section. Here we use the testimonial slider. You will be able to change text, image and other settings. Next, you will have the contact section. We have created the section with a contact form and an image. For the contact form, we use the contact form builder. You will have the options to change the contact fields and the email settings. The text can be easily edited. You will have it here. 
the entire section has a background color, you will be able to change it by pressing contact section and going to style. This is the color. Also, this image can be changed from the background overlay. Here you will be able to delete the demo image and upload your own. And going to the last section in the page, you will have a section with blog posts. We have used here the VP Rentals featured article and we selected three articles to be displayed in the home page. Here to edit the section and display your own articles, you will need to replace the demo ID. I will show where to take the ID of the blog post from. You will need to go to admin, posts, and these are the IDs that you will need to copy paste in the home page. This wraps our video. Thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get instant notifications on new videos.